At News 4, we're always looking at just where taxpayer dollars are going, and tonight we're digging deeper into an ongoing dispute over a special court in Erie County that handles domestic violence cases. News 4's Rich Newberg is getting answers for you. Rich? Well, Jackie, in a move that shocked the court, Erie County District Attorney Frank Sedita has stopped prosecuting misdemeanors and violations in this special court. This is a court that handles all aspects of a domestic violence case, which could include custody issues, visitation rights and orders of protection. The DA claims this is just too much for two of his prosecutors to handle. The prosecutor should be criminally prosecuting the criminal case. We shouldn't be involved in matrimonial cases and, uh, and, uh, and family disputes and, and, and those kinds of things. In this courtroom, there are a wide range of cases handled. The first trial here in 2004 involved the domestic abuse of Western New York wife and mother, Susan Still, whose husband humiliated and beat her, and had one of his children videotape the abuse. He is now serving a 36-year prison sentence. The court was created to centralize all aspects of a domestic dispute case. So the idea was one judge, one family, the one judge would know everything and be able to come to a global resolution. The DA says he is all for prosecuting cases that involve assault, strangulation, stalking, and threatening behavior, but says his prosecutors are now getting bogged down on cases that don't warrant the DA's attention. Are not viable domestic violence prosecutions. They may be cases of domestic discord or domestic dysfunction, and, and, and surely those things are not appropriate but often those things are not crimes. Family disputes and what he's referred to sometimes as marital discord are handled in our civil matrimonial parts. These are cases where there's domestic violence. The Honorable Paula Farolato, administrative judge for the 8th Judicial District, says the DA's refusal to prosecute misdemeanor cases in the integrated domestic violence court is unacceptable. I was shocked when I received his unilateral letter letter with no discussion whatsoever with the courts about the action he was going to take. I know it's controversial, uh, but I feel that there's, there's nothing else I can do.